Whoa, I can't really use the normal intro here because this isn't really Guild Wars 2, this is just recording Guild Wars 2. Hey guys, here's the guide I promised. Now, it's going to start off with the basics of basics, actually getting what you will need and installing it. Now, for those of you who are comfortable doing it themselves, what you're going to need is a copy of Fraps, the XFID codec, and a copy of Virtual Dub. Now, if you want to use another piece of recording software, you're fine, but this guide won't cover you there. But the basics of compressing the video and submitting it are still the same. So if you're comfortable installing all that stuff yourself, just hit the next annotation now to jump to the next part of the video. For everyone else, here we go. Right, first thing we need to do is grab everything, all the utilities we will need. So, hit Google. First thing we'll grab is Fraps. It's a nice easy one. Let's go to the Fraps webpage. Second low out, click download. And download the Fraps setup file. Save away. And off that one goes. And while that's going, back home. You will need Virtual Dub. This one's a little trickier to install. Grab it anyway. Now, from there, start. To start on the site, we need to go to Downloads. Virtual Dub at SourceForge. Now, 64 bit is what you'll need if you're running Windows 7 or 8. Or if you're running a 32-bit system, you have to grab that one. 64 is what I'm running, so I'm grabbing that. Let's give it a second. There it goes. Save that file too. Back home. And the last thing we need is the XVID codec. So just go to the xvid.org. Homepage. Always safe to get something from the homepage. There we go. Looking for the XFID codec. Let's click the link. Load. Save that file too. Alright, now you just need to go to the directory where everything is installed. XFID's still going, so... First thing we'll install. Is Fraps. Let's run through the install program. I've actually got the full version installed, so I can't actually show you how to do this, so. But it's pretty simple. Just run it through, install it. Once that's done, Virtual Dub's a bit different. It doesn't have a self installer. Quite you. Just click Extract to, choose where you're going to put it. This should only take a second. that. That's that one installed. Lastly, the XVID codec, which just finished downloading. Fantastic. I think I need to update this anyway, so I'll run through this one with you. Yes, install processes are awfully riveting, but I mean, I suppose there are some people who wouldn't actually know how to do through this, so just, if you want, just copy what I'm doing here. I just chose to install in the default directory. I don't like getting bugged for updates, but there's nothing wrong with leaving that on if you want. Away it goes, and... Any second now... God, you gotta love Windows progress bars. Aha! Done. And we're ready to rock. So you've installed Fraps. First thing you need to do is run it. I have it running now because I need it to record what I'm showing. Uh, now, you'll want to set up where you want all the movies to be saved in. Be aware, Fraps movies take a lot of space uh, the longer it runs. That's one reason I'm running this tutorial. But basically, choose the folder, choose the button you will need to record. These are the settings I use. Feel free to copy them. Um, you don't need to record your microphone unless you want to leave commentary while you're recording, then you can. Now, I suggest hiding the mouse cursor in the video. It's unclicked now, so you can see where I'm clicking. Now, so before we start, I'm going to hide our mouse, mouse cursor, click to general, and turn off monitor area desktop. That option should be off by default. What that option does is record your desktop. So if you have that clicked, it won't actually record what you're doing in Guild Wars 2. It'll record what's happening in the desktop. It's on now, so I can show you how to run Fraps. Here we are on the character select screen. You'll notice a yellow number up in the corner if Fraps is running correctly. That's showing your FPS. Now, if that's not there, you better Alt-Tab, close Fraps and open it again, then jump back in and see if it's there. Uh, if it's not up there, it's not recording. Don't worry, that doesn't get recorded when you're doing your videos. I'm seeing a red 30 right there now, and I'm pretty sure you guys won't be seeing that. So you press F9 and the number will go from yellow to red. 
and you're now recording. So let's just uh, show off my pretty little characters here. As you can see, guys, I haven't been rushing through the Guild Wars 2 content. I've just been, basically, I get bored with something, I'll try another character. A lot of these characters haven't done anything uh, outside of uh, structured PvP. I've just wandered around um, a couple of main cities to get some shots and uh, done uh, structured PvP with them. It's just how I'm playing the game right now. This is my highest level character, Caboose. Poor bugger's only level 43. Anyway, I think that's enough footage, so we will uh, quit out now. Now, just to make this example easier, I am grabbing my file and putting it in a separate folder. That was our recorded file. It'll be wherever you asked it to record. So that's going there. Now, biggest problem with recording with Fraps is the files come out ginormous. That was a minute of footage, and it's come up at 1.73 gig. That is not a feasible amount of data to be putting up on YouTube for that small amount. But it's just the way it works, and I think you'll find almost all video recording software is the same. So we have to compress it before we put it up on YouTube, and that's what we got the virtual dub for. So go to where you installed it and run it. I know it didn't come with a in shortcut. You can always just um, right-click Yay for fast computer. Right click, create shortcut. And then just drag that up to your desktop and run it from there. I already had one there, but hey, it's just there as an example. You run it. Now, first thing you need to do when you go into Virtual Dub every time, because it doesn't remember, you go to video, you go to compression, and you choose the XVID codec that you installed. Once you've chosen your compression, you open your video. Here it is an example. And then you go to, once again, File, Save as AVI. Uh, let's give it a different name, because we don't want to try and save over the other one. Characters. That will do. Save. And it will start compressing. Now, this shouldn't take terribly long. Obviously, the longer the video is, the uh, longer it's going to take. That was only a minute. It should take around two to compress. Let's skip ahead here. We don't need to watch this. And we are done. All right, now that's that done, you just close that. Just open up and have a look at our two files we've made. Example. As you can see, 1.73 gig from the original file. Oh, well down there, that's easier. 39.7 meg. Let's do a visual comparison of the two. Let's load up that one. Here we are on the character select screen. You'll notice a yellow number up in the corner if perhaps is running correctly. There's the first one. Here we are on the character select screen. You'll notice a yellow number up in the corner if Fraps is running correctly. That's showing your... You shouldn't see any distinguishable video quality drop there between the two. Uh, just a note for those who plan to edit their videos later, XVID is not a good codec to be editing with. It will, At least with my editor, it slows it down to a crawl. You're much better working with uh, base footage. Anyway, that's that done. Now we've got to put them on YouTube, so... Let's get out of there... Load up YouTube. Now you will need a YouTube account to do this. They're free, they're easy to sign up for, so just sign up if you need one. Go to Upload. Select Files. Now obviously make sure you select the smaller one. And up it goes. Now, for any reason, if you don't want um, it to be viewed by everyone on your channel, you can just throw it up as unlisted. Let's chuck up. Characters. There we go. Now, that will come up when it's finished with a code linking to the video. Now, anyone who has that code can go view it. However, when you've got it unlisted, it doesn't show up in a search. Uh, we'll fast forward a bit here. There we go. Oh, we don't need to. There we go. Video will be live at there. I will throw that up on the screen now for you. There you go. Nice and pretty. So you guys can test. Go have a look at that just to see how that video turned out, if you lit wish. Let's say you wanted to send that to me, you would just open up your inbox, compose, send it to Dodge, this, bam. Make sure you mention something about the show in the subject header or I'm just going to dismiss it as spam. A quick message, I don't care about spelling errors. <laughs> and paste your link there, then send it away. And that's all there is to it. Guys, I hope that covered everything you need to know and was helpful. If there are any problems with it, just leave a comment down there and I will try my best to help you out with it. I'm looking forward to seeing your content, guys. Thank you very much. Catch you next time.